The United Nations Rights of the Child state that every child in every nation on every continent is born with the same fundamental rights. The right to clean water. The right to adequate nutrition. The right to health care. The right to an education. The right to a stable, loving environment. The right to live in conditions of freedom and dignity. I'm Turk Pipkin. When I first filmed The Street Children of India, I was often shocked by what I saw and felt completely powerless to help. But then I found an amazing organization called the Miracle Foundation. The Miracle Foundation exists to ensure the rights of children and improve the lives of orphans. And that's what it's all about, is just one child, one orphan at a time enabling them to reach their full potential. Right now there's 25 million children in the system. 25 million children living in orphanages. There are a million children pouring into the system every single year. Their parents are dying of AIDS, poverty, and simple curable diseases. And you know, at the bottom of this you know, funnel or bucket, there's adoptions. And in 2006, there were only 3,332 adoptions in India. And if you don't do something in the, you know, for the people that are already living in the system, if you don't do something to improve the standards, you're just going to make the problem bigger. So the goal is just, you know, to help them break that cycle of poverty, one kid at a time. Like many others who support the Miracle Foundation, my family gets great satisfaction from our sponsorship of a young man for whom we have high hopes in life. We are always looking for sponsors. It's the best thing you can do for a child, and it might be one of the best things you ever do for yourself. It is so rewarding. The great thing about this sponsorship program is that not only is it a one-to-one -one relationship, it's a relationship with a child that you can actually come and meet. This is Sanika. In fact, yeah. we will do all of the work for you to come and meet your own children. If you can't come, other people will come and meet your children and they'll call you and tell you about your children. I wanted you to meet Savita. I want you to let you know she's very, very sweet and her best friend is so There are three ways that we're expanding. We're renting buildings, we are adopting existing orphanages, and we're building orphanages all over the country. What's great about Bawani is that it was already an existing orphanage. So there were all of these children there that were just so excited about going to school and so excited about learning and they just didn't have the resources they just didn't have the enough people to love and care for them i do not like my little bed i had a meeting with austin ventures and they have committed to rebuilding the entire facility and they've agreed to be our anchor corporation they said once we do this, we want to introduce you to our 100 portfolio companies so you can take this program and just roll it out one corporation at a time. So corporations will be able to build these villages and then we'll bring in sponsors and that's what makes the program sustainable. Austin Ventures will be like a role model for other corporations. We are going to the grand opening of our new Suge Village and we're bringing 60 children from each orphanage. These kids have never been on a train They've never been on a field trip, so I think they're pretty excited about it. Is this your first train ride, Samir? Yeah. The project that we've done is an ideal village. It's for orphan children, true orphan children, the underserved, the forgotten of India. It's ideal because it's family style. It's one house mother to 10 children living in one house, just like a real family. House mothers stay with us for 15 years, just like a real mother. They work 24 seven, they're not shift workers. 
These children are given everything they need to grow and become true citizens so that they can break the cycle of poverty. There's two things that children need to succeed. One is an opportunity for an education. Yes. And then the second thing that children need is a loving and nurturing environment. And so it's my hope and my vision that the children that are here at the Such Village will have the opportunity to be productive citizens making a positive difference in the world. Our work is made possible by people who share our dreams. And we all know that children shouldn't starve. We all know that they deserve a home and stability and love and nurturing and a mother. I think if you put standards in place and you put these children's rights first and you give them their rights, you give them an education, slowly, slowly, the system will change. It'll just one day, more children will be living under these great standards than not. The momentum is here, you know, it's, it's time. And the step after momentum is the step that I can't wait to get, and that's the step of breakthrough, when just miraculous things start to happen. That's where we're going. Whether you sponsor an entire orphanage or one child, by joining together to support the Miracle Foundation, we really can work miracles. Thank you.